and tell all your brothers and sisters and friends and mothers and daughters and dads and sons and uncles and aunts and grandmas and grandpas and stepchildren and everybody that you know in your life. Your mailmen, your your shoe shiners. Do people have shoe shiners? Your cable providers, your congressmen. Tell everybody to subscribe, please and thank you. Greetings Earthlings, I am here today to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time but I've been putting it off because it is such a painstaking process. I'm here to do an updated perfume collection. For a while I was accumulating perfumes pretty rapidly and that kind of stopped a while ago. Like, I don't know, there just hasn't been anything that's really like excited me. But I have gotten a lot more perfume since I last did this video. Like. A year and a half ago I'll link it down below um, it's actually like one of my most popular videos and I did not like it like at all I thought it was horrible but I really tried and I want to do it again I do have like I said more and they have been featured in different videos like TJ Maxx hauls and whatnot but let's just go ahead and get started so back here on my nightstand is where I keep my favorite perfumes like the ones that I use a lot like my really bougie ones and this one is so funny because the first time I tried this I hated it this is Chanel cocoa just the regular cocoa and I sprayed this in Ulta once and it smelled so bad and it smelled so bad that my fiance had to walk away from me and I just I hated it I regretted spraying it on me but then like over the next couple days the smell lingered and lingered and I started to like it more and more as you can see I've used about half the bottle already this is just the one fluid ounce but it smells so good to me <sighs> this was featured in my top 10 favorite fragrances I love it like it reminds me of like a hair salon but in a good way if that makes any sense one of the weirdest notes in this is like civet or something which is like from an animal butt gland or something I don't know I talked about it in that other video and I'll have all of the notes listed somewhere in this area or this area we'll see but this one I love it's so like elegant it's very strong though you only need like one spray two max and it lasts a long time and it's it's very potent so you have to be careful with it I used to be nervous to wear it like outside of the house because I was worried that it would be too strong but I wear it anyway because it like genuinely makes me happy another one I have from Chanel is Coco Mademoiselle my fiance got me this for Valentine's Day or anniversary or something one time this is the big 3.4 fluid ounce this smells so good it's a lot more of a fresher scent a lot more daytime and I feel like this one's very recognizable I have worn it before and people have been like oh you're wearing Coco Mademoiselle I'm like yes I am and it is like it's just classic it's like it's more of a floral fruity fresh kind of scent whereas the other one's more of like a, a deep scent if that makes sense I mean I'm not really good at like describing scents I'm no Dennis Feinstein let me know if you know who that is but this smells really good I need to get going quicker because I have a lot to go through and that's also listed I think in my top 10 favorites video Two more I keep on my nightstand. This one is by Victor and Rolf. This is Flower Bomb. The little black thing that was on here like broke off. I don't know why. This I actually got as a free, I got this for free after buying a big, it was like a 10 piece sample set from Sephora. It was a Sephora favorites and it came with a voucher. I'll link that video down below too. This one is incredibly, incredibly popular. It's very strong also and long lasting just like the Chanel ones but it's more of like a sweet smell I say it could be daytime or nighttime but I don't really care I wear what I want when I want whatever but it's um it's also very elegant and I really enjoy it and then one of my new favorites is this one by Dior it's called Joy 
I got a little sample of this and it was so amazing, but I don't know if it's because on the sample the nozzle didn't work right and it kind of just like squirted out at me that I was getting like a big concentrate of it and I would smell it all day long. I bought the full size and it still smells really good. It's kind of baby powdery, but also very like fresh and daytime and springy and I really like it. But I think it doesn't last as long as the sample did. And I want to say it's because that was like squirting like a big shot of the perfume on me. Whereas this is like a nice fine spray. It's still really nice though. I really like it. The cap is like magnetic, which like freaked me out the first time. I don't know why. But anyway, those are the ones that I keep on my nightstand. Now... Over here, I have my big collection of Vera Wang Princess perfumes. So let's tackle that next. Let's go ahead and start with the first original Vera Wang Princess. I have a one fluid ounce of this too. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce. This smells so good. It's very sweet. My nose is stuffy. This is a perfect time to do this video, by the way. But Kathleen Lights just did it, and I'm like, you know what? I need to do it again. Which, by the way, Kathleen Lights is why I started collecting perfume because I watched her perfume collection like years ago and then I was like you know what yeah I can collect perfume why not thousands of dollars later here I am anyway this smells so good I feel like it doesn't last very long though but it's a nice sweet smell I think one of the notes is like dark, dark chocolate dark chocolate but it's really nice and the cool thing about these 3.4 fluid ounces is like all the caps come with like these rings but, I mean, I keep them on. I'm not going to wear them like a dork. This one is Vera Wang Flower Princess. It's confusing, though, because it just says Vera Wang Princess on it. I actually got this. Well, okay. Backtrack. Uh, when I was in high school, I was absolutely obsessed with the Jonas Brothers. I was going to marry Joe Jonas. I've been to, like, four Jonas Brothers concerts. And, hey, yeah, they just reunited. Anyway, in one of his interviews, he said that his favorite perfume on a girl, I read this in, like, J14 or Tiger Beat or something, was Vera Wang Princess. And I went to Macy's and I got the body lotion of Vera Wang Flower Princess, not knowing the difference between flower princess and regular princess anyway like when I smell this perfume which I only got a few years ago like it brings back all those memories and it's just such a beautiful fragrance oh my gosh I actually have another 3.4 fluid ounce of this that I haven't even opened because I found it at TJ Maxx on sale for like $13 or something and I was like okay yeah I'll have a backup why not it's my favorite um but a little bit of a downer later on, I realized that his girlfriend at the time was the face of the Vera Wang Princess perfume, like Camilla Bell or something, like whatever. I don't know, I love that one, and it brings back so many memories. Another one of my favorites is the Vera Wang Preppy Princess. This smells, oh my gosh, it reminds me of, I don't know, like it reminds me of my childhood, like at my Nana's house, Like, but it doesn't smell, I don't know, like it smells, elegant I think preppy is a really good term for it like I think like you know people out on a golf course you know living in mansions stuff like that I mean it's not like a fancy smell but like I don't know like the smell of a country club or something I it does not make any sense or like a, a like a private school this is something I would imagine someone in a private school wearing like I know that sounds so weird but I love it. I think it smells really good. And this one probably lasts the longest of me out of all of the other Vera Wang princesses. Okay, another one that I enjoy is Glam Princess. This one, there's multicolored diamonds on it. Diamonds, ha, gems. Anyway, this one is a very daytimey, springy, summery scent. <sighs> yeah, it smells kind of fruity. It's a lot more lively, whereas... Um, Preppy Princess is more of like a powdery scent. It's so hard to explain. I mean, I could like look at the notes right now and be able to explain it, but I'm too lazy to do that. But this one, it's okay. It's not my favorite. I like it. I haven't worn it in a long time. Now we have Night Princess. It doesn't say anything on it. I think it had like a little tag around it that said Night Princess on it. But this one is kind of like a, a fruity, dark fragrance. I think I've probably worn this maybe twice. Um, I like the bottle though because it's covered in glitter. Now, 
I don't wear these very often, but I do collect them. I have, I think, all but three of the Vera Wang princesses that were ever released. These two, I actually got both of them at Bell's Outlet for $40. And this one I got at TJ Maxx for like $25. So none of these giant ones did I pay full price. Same with this one, Vera Wang Rock Princess. This one I don't like very much. But like I said, I collect it. I think I spent like $25 on it at TJ Maxx. It's just kind of like a, I don't know. I'm not a big fruity fragrance person. I'm more of a sweet or not even so much fresh either. I'm like a sweet floral kind of. And that has more of like a, a fruity scent to it. It reminds me of this one, Princess Revolution. This one I actually paid full price for at Ulta, and it's probably my least favorite. I think it was listed in my five least favorite perfumes. But the notes in here are like really cool though. It's like watermelon and black cherry and blood orange and stuff like that. But it's just, it's not my cup of tea, unfortunately. The bottle's cute though. All the bottles are cute. They're shaped like hearts. How could they not be cute? Hearts with little crowns on top. Now this one is Vera Wang Princess Noir. This one smells really good. Um, I got this one at like Marshalls or something too. It's, a, it's like a sweet nighttime scent. Oh, I'm spraying these all over my drinks. This is one that I will wear time to time because I actually do enjoy it. All right, my last two little Vera Wangs that I have, I have Hippie Princess and Princess of Hearts. These ones I do believe I got both at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This Hippie Princess one, the cap has like little turquoise studs on it, which is kind of cute. This one, I don't know if I've ever even worn it. What do you smell like? This one smells pretty good. It's a very, it's like a daytimey, fresh, like fruity, but not gross fruity scent. It's funny though, I say that I don't like fruity scents, but almost all of my favorite ones have some kind of mandarin orange, orange, orange blossom, something like that in it. Jasmine is also a very popular note in all of my favorite perfumes. But I don't know, like off the top of my head, what's in what, but I will list it around. This one smells really good. I could see this being like a daytime summer scent, like hanging out on a picnic in a park or something. I like that, Hippie Princess, that's really good. And then Princess of Hearts, this one, the bottle's really cute as well. It's got hearts all over it. I mean, it is a heart. What else could you ask for? Hmm, this one, this one has like a, like a fruity sweet smell, almost cotton candy-ish but fruity. Like if you've ever eaten those cotton candy flavored grapes, like I know that sounds really weird, but yeah, there are cotton candy flavored grapes. Moving on, I have the rest of my perfumes over here. I am going to start with my Juicy Coutures. So this one is my favorite Viva La Juicy. This is Viva La Juicy Sucre. I'm obsessed with this one. Not only is the bottle freaking adorable, it looks like a little cupcake. <sighs> my gosh, it smells so good. My fiance loves this one too. This is a very sweet scent, obviously. It's like a warm, sweet, but playful daytime or nighttime scent. It doesn't last incredibly long, but it smells so good. And I bought this from Ulta full price, $75, and I'm so glad that I did. Like, it's amazing. In the bottle, I can't get over how cute this bottle is. Like, I wanna eat it. It's so cute. Don't eat it. Now I have Viva La Juicy Glacé. This one I got at TJ Maxx. The bottle is really pretty. It's like, a, what do you wanna call that? Like an iridescent, kind of color shifting pink to white. It's supposed to be like ice, I think, like ice themed. This one smells actually pretty good. I don't ever really wear it, but I should because it does smell nice. Like it smells like, okay, this sounds weird. It does smell like a cold scent. Like that's so strange. Like something, I don't know, like ice skating with berries like and this one I love as well and now mind you I don't like the original Viva La Juicy my mom loves it I don't this is a Viva La Juicy Rosé this one smells like I love rose scented stuff 
This one is rosy but bubbly, like kind of like champagne-y. I mean, I've never had champagne, but I, I'm, this is like the vibe that I'm getting. And obviously it is, you know, based off of rosé. Look at the little charm on there. That's so cute. In the bottle, the glitter, Ermagur. All right, now we're gonna move into something that I have quite a handful of, and that is the DKNY Be Delicious. Now, oh my goodness, when I look at these on Fragrantica, which is, by the way, where I got all of the notes from, there are so many of these. Like, there are, I wanna, oh my goodness, like, you have to look it up, you just scroll and scroll, and there are so many different ones, and I'm like, oh, I could have a lot of fun collecting these. But, like, I actually don't like most of the ones that I have. This one I do like. This is a Be Delicious Delights Fruity Rudy. I think this one's called. I actually got this at TJ Maxx in New York City. This one smells really good. It's very sweet, but it's not, like, really... It's more, like, candy sweet than it is, like, cupcake or chocolate sweet. This one's probably one of my least favorites. This is Red Delicious. It has like a very potent, I wanna say pear smell. Pear or maybe grapefruit, possibly. I don't know, it reminds me of like perfumes that my mom used to wear when I was little. Like she always wore like pear stuff, I don't know. Like there's something about it that's like too tangy. But this one I think I only paid like 10 bucks for at Bell's Outlet or something. Now I have two Donna Karen New York Be Delicious City perfumes. This was in collaboration with someone named Donald. I think he's some kind of an artist, obviously. Um, I have, which one is this? I think this is Nolita Girl and this is Brooklyn Girl. There's also a Chelsea Girl, which is pink. I don't know, I'm not really thrilled with either of them, but I'm also not like completely upset with either of them. This one's not bad. It's, uh, it is a little fruity. I'm not sure like what the scent is supposed to be. And then this one, Nolita Girl, if I remember correctly, I liked even less. Let's see. Both of these I got from TJ Maxx. Oh yeah, this one smells kind of like Red Delicious. Like it's got that, I want to say like pear. I don't like it. It's a cute bottle though. I do have one more DKNY. This is, I'm, I'm wiping off all of them because they're dusty by the way, because they don't get a lot of love. Um, this is Be Tempted. This one is more of a deep sweet than a like strong fruity scent. This one was like my fiance's favorite for a while. It's, I think my dog's trying to get it and hang on. You haven't made an appearance in a while. This is my Snickers baby. Oh, he is so sweet. Actually, no. He doesn't care for me that much. But I love him more than anything. He's like, Mom, just put me down on the bed already. Watch out for the perfumes bubble. Okay, where were we? I think we finished the DKNY ones. Like, this one's my favorite. Be tempted. I like it. It's good. Um, Let's move on to... Terry Mugler or Theri or I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I'm stupid. Let's see. So let's start with Alien. This one I love. I fell in love with it. I had gotten a little sample of it and it was like I wore it one day during like summer camp and when I sweated like crazy. I mean Florida summer camp let me tell you. And it just lasted all day long. That day I went to Target on my break and bought it. Like, I was like, I have to have this. Kind of a powdery scent. This lasts a long time and it's very strong. So kind of like the Chanel ones, you don't need a lot. These are very potent. And the bottle is really unique too, right? And then we also have Angel, which I wanna say came out in like 1992 or something, which is kind of awesome. And this one has like more notes than any other perfume I've ever Scene. It all works together so well. This one I want to say is a little less wearable than the Alien one. I know this used to be like incredibly crazy popular, but it has a few more like weird waves to it. It's hard to explain. I can't pick out like a single note. Now here we have Angel Muse, which my fiance bought me and um, he was supposed to buy me the regular Angel, but got me this instead. <laughs> I don't like it as much, but it's not 
the worst thing I've ever smelled. It's a lot more, I want to say caramely. I think this one, I think this one has the, the note, it's like chocolate hazelnut spread or something, which is Nutella. I mean like, this has Nutella as a note, which is kind of amazing. I guess I kind of smell the Nutella. I haven't had Nutella in a long time. I would eat like an entire jar in a day, and so I had to, I had to break up with it. But it also has like kind of a strong alcoholy smell, which is something I don't really like about it. But if you can like really like single out the more sweet smells, it's yummy. Let's move on to Dolce and Gabbana. This was probably my first favorite high-end fragrance. This is the just Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. I feel like this is really elegant and you can wear it day, night, anytime ever. It's very feminine. I love all the white florals that are in it. It started out with a sample and then I got the travel spray and then I upgraded to this. And I think I got it at Target for like half the price of what it is on Ulta. This is a classic in my collection. Definitely one of my top ones and I love it so much. Rosa Esosa. I have mispronounced that every time I've tried to say it. This one has I think a majority of the same notes as the other one. It does smell kind of rosy. It doesn't stray very far. I know that they recently came out with one that was called like Garden or something and I think I said I tried it in Ulta and I really wasn't a fan unfortunately, or fortunately for my bank account. Now let's move on to these Prada candies. I do like the original Prada candy. I just never bought it for some reason. I have Prada candy, I wanna say this one's Kiss and this one's Floral. It doesn't actually say it anywhere on the bottle. These are like the little, like the mini, mini ones, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, this one's Floral. Um, my first trip to New York City, and I got this idea also from Kathleen Lights, to get a like travel spray every time you travel and then wear it the whole time you're there and then you will have memories of that vacation or travel experience every time you smell it. And I went to Macy's at Herald Square and I bought a rollerball of this, the Prada Candy Floral. And every time I smell it, it does remind me of my first trip to New York City, which is when I got engaged. The I mean, obviously it's a floral, it's called Floral but it's beautiful. And then this one, Kiss, Prada Candy Kiss, I feel like it's a mature scent. It's not as playful, sophisticated. I wanna say if I remember correctly, there's not a lot of notes in this, but I'll correct myself over here somewhere. This, I don't get a lot of use out of it, but it's not like a really bad perfume though either. Let me see, does this say? Yes, this one's Prada Candy Kiss. And I know they've come out with more since then, like Prada Candy Pop and Prada Candy something else or another. Like there was like a beige one. I don't remember what that one was called. Now here we have Michael Kors Wanderlust. This one is a beautiful fragrance. It has kind of like a powdery scent to it. It's elegant. It lasts quite a long time on me. My fiance got me this for, I wanna say like Valentine's Day or something. It actually smells quite similar to Alien, in a way. Okay, Versace Bright Crystal. I know this is an unpopular opinion and this was featured in my five least favorite perfumes. This just does not do anything for me. I bought this full price from Ulta and I regret it. I don't know why I never returned it. I just, it's bland. It's not really anything to me. It's not a bad smell, okay? It's not bad. Like, I've smelled bad perfumes. That's not a bad perfume. It just doesn't do anything for me. It's almost like spraying on nothing. Now, two Jimmy Choo's, okay? And these are completely different. Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo, I bought because of Kathleen Lights. She said that it's amazing, and she still continues to say how amazing it is in all of her perfume videos. And I found it at Walmart on sale for like 20 bucks. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. I hate it. I have been training myself to like it. It's like really spicy. I've tried to get myself to like it, but I still just, it doesn't do it for me. Like it doesn't make me happy. I don't know, spicy. But then Jimmy Choo Le Oo, this one is super floral, like, Springtime blush, just a beautiful fragrance. I had smelt this in a sample and I was like, I have to have this. I have to. Oh, this one's so good. 
it's kind of romantic. If you can picture the color of this bottle as a scent, that's what it smells like. Like this really pretty light pink, this beautiful floral bouquet. I, oh, it's beautiful. I do have one more DKNY I forgot about. This one's called My NY by DKNY. And I think the lid is supposed to resemble kind of like the New York City, like skyline kind of thing. This, I want to say I also got it TJ Maxx. It's nothing exemplary to me. It kind of has like an alcoholy smell to it. It's just, it's nothing great to me. I don't really like it. I kind of, I kind of put these ones in kind of like the same category. I've got two by Ariana Grande. I have the original Ari that smells like a caramel dream. Oh, this like, oh my goodness. This smells so good. Like it smells like a treat. Like maple syrupy pancakes, caramel, toffee, apple kind of sweet. This one is like a sweet tarts kind of sweet. This is sweet like candy. This I actually got, believe it or not, at Walmart for like 10 bucks. And then after Christmas sale, it was a part of like a $20 gift set and all the gift sets go on sale after Christmas and I spent like 10 bucks on this. And the bottles are really cute. The only other celebrity fragrance that I have is this one by Britney Spears. And I had this when it first came out. This is Curious. I got this when I was little and I repurchased it just because it brings back memories. I actually got this the same time I got the Ariana Grande one. So I got it for like 10 bucks and also came with like a lotion and a shower gel or something. And it's not a bad smell. Like... Let's be real. And the bottle, it's kind of big and tacky, but it's also really cute. It's like a big gem. Here we have another Michael Kors. This is Exotic Blossom. I got this at TJ Maxx. I never wore it. It's definitely a summery scent. It's very, not so much go to the beach, but more like go to an island kind of smell. All right, now I have Pink Sugar and Pink Flower by Pink Sugar. This is very sweet. The bottle always turns yellow though, which is kind of gross, but I know one of the notes in here is cotton candy. Like this is a very yummy, sweet, I want to eat it kind of smell. This one, I think I got from TJ Maxx. I've never worn it. I'll be honest, never worn it. Gross. It smells like salad. What is happening right now? Now this is Kat Von D Saint, the original one. And look at this really cool bottle that it comes in, like, right? This is a very deep, sweet kind of scent. It's nothing like the new Saint that came out like two years ago or something like that. This one that I actually got in New York City my second trip, the regular Saint. This one's much more like fresh, airy. I forgot about this one. This is also by Vera Wang. This is Love Struck. I got it for like 10 bucks at TJ Maxx or something like that. I've never worn it. I should probably just get rid of it. Actually, no, it's not that bad. I'm starting to lose my momentum in this video. I'm kind of getting tired and not wanting to do this anymore. All right, I've got two more. This one is by Pacifica. This is Indian Coconut Nectar. I have a do I have yeah, I think I have a rollerball of this this smells so good this is this is like a more affordable perfume it's perfect for summer oh goodness it's it's got coconut but the vanilla really makes it more of like a sweet smell it's perfect for summer this is beach by Bobbi Brown this was recently featured in one of my TJ Maxx videos this is a much more stronger I'm literally at the beach and this is what I smell like kind of perfume. Like it's very beach when you're at the beach. Like you've got sunscreen on, you've got salt water in your hair and sand and stuff. Like that's what this smells like. Okay, so the year is 2025 and I have finally finished my perfume collection video. Just kidding. It is gonna take me a long time to edit it though. So expect this video up in five years. Wait, it's only 2019, it's not 2020. Whatever. I really hope you enjoyed. I know I'm not the best at describing scents. I'm just an average Joe. But I really love perfume. I don't think I love it as much as I used to. Like I said, I haven't really bought any in a long time. But you know what? There are more important things in life than buying really expensive perfume. So 
keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that was a lot of perfume. My sinuses are like, what are you doing? I really hope you enjoyed. Like seriously though, um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Um, have a good day and bye.